we're going to look at in this video is using groups to create multiple layouts of the same apartment within an architectural model. So on the right hand side here, you can see my 3D model of my architectural building, this is a set of apartments. And within the set of apartments, there are a series of repeated floor plans for each apartment. So from the ground floor up to the top floor here, all of these apartments have identical layouts. So what we've done actually is created a group of the ground floor apartment layout. You can see here when I click on it, it selects it as a group, all of the elements. And I can edit that group if I wish. So what I'm going to do is show you how to create a group and then duplicate that up to the above floors. So if I just go into my floor plan here on the left hand side, you can see I've also got a group in this apartment and this will be a separate apartment within this area here as well. So all I'm going to do is start placing some internal walls. So by typing WA. So I'm just going to place them across. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. Place some doors. So you can see if I select that, it just selects the wall individually. And what I can actually do here, I can start placing some windows in there as well. So what I'm going to do is first, just go to my architecture tab, select my window. I'm just going to drop in my windows as they belong in the apartment. Make sure they're all sitting at the right sill height. So let's change that to zero, make sure they're sitting at my relevant level. So now what I'm going to do, Delete that dimension. I'm going to select my walls, my doors at that particular floor level, all of my external windows. I'm going to go up to my top toolbar where it says modify, multi select, create group. I'm going to call this apartment type 10. Click OK. And what I can do if I just come around to my 3D model, I can see that group has been created. And the next thing I want to do is just duplicate that up. So the way I do it is I'll cut a section, pull my section box through my apartment, go to view. All I want to now do is just select that apartment, go to copy, turn off constraint and just select my floor plate up to the next floor and down to the floor below as well. Now what you will notice is that the walls actually do not go up to the top of the wall and I want to show you that for a reason so how we can correct this these partition walls do not go up to the top just go edit group all I'm going to do is select all instances which it doesn't allow you to do so what I need to do is just make sure I'm selecting all of my walls do a cross select just drop down walls on the left hand side all I want to do is make sure that it's going up to the correct level so I want to set it to B103, which is the above level, minus 300 to allow for the floor plate. Hit apply, hit finish, and we can see all of our groups of our apartment layouts has duplicated across each separate floor. If I in fact turn off this roof plan, and just show you that that is the same apartment that exists below. If I go to edit group, if I in fact delete this window, hit finish, and it has deleted them across all of the apartment layouts.